2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's always fun to look around and see fans singing our stars' spangled banner. Getting in the spirit. Should be a good one tonight. Don't go away. The NBA on 2K Sports welcomes you to Wednesday afternoon basketball. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Brent Beer. David Aldridge will join us momentarily from the sidelines. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. The Warriors are trying to fight their way back to the mountaintop. Draymond Green says we were the hunted for five years, and now we're hunting again. That's always a fun position to be in, going after everybody else. I love hunting. That's fun. Guys, back to you. And I love, David, how he is always hungry for wins and competition. Thank you. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Out in the front court along with Tatum. Marcus Smart is out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Horford at the center, locking down the middle. And for the Warriors. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. Riggins is out there with James Wiseman. Tip, it's Boston. Who's got that? There's Schroeder. Outside Tatum. Outside Smart. Just five to shoot. Wiseman with the rebound. Better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Now, here's Curry, and the shot goes down. That's tremendous balance. Steph's ability to keep his composure in that tough situation, work in a tight space, that's impressive. Here's Tatum. Great tee that time from Green. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. The shot by Thompson, no good. And so Brown will bring it up for the Celtics. And Al Horford, a veteran big man. He's been doing it as long as anyone in the NBA. And a seamless transition, GA, to where he is in his career, the self-awareness of moving team to team, but bringing both your competitiveness and your culture along with you. That's the reason Al Horford continues to put on an NBA jersey. There's Schroeder following the basket by Stephen Kerr. Brown drives in, and Wiseman sends it back. In work on the defensive end, Wiseman's SWAT providing a spark to his team. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And, and making a statement right away, letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. Wiggins, a beautiful reverse move. Yeah, that's just called working within the offense as Thompson, unwilling to settle for a shot, has good vision and then sees the open man. Schroeder finds Tatum. Over Wiseman. Tatum's shot is off. And that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Kicks it out to Wiggins. And Tatum pulls it down. The Celtics have gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. This ball movement by Boston. To the inside. 
And Smart, the bucket on the assist by Schroeder. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. Schroeder against Curry. Shoot from 12. It's good. Curry's got six points. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Now, here's Brown. Back to Schroeder. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Schroeder playing with some tenacity in this one. He is not letting the defense dictate where it is that he's going. He's scoring through contact. Here's Wiggins. Pass to Thompson. Curry looking around. Shoots from the right block. Tries again. And it's laid up and in by Thompson. Play with a good nose for the ball there. Sneaks in. Does a little dirty work on the inside. Schroeder finds Tatum. Wiseman. That one off the back iron and out. And so Green will bring it up for Golden State. Back to Curry. Pass to Green. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Shot clock at six. To the paint. Here's Wiseman. And he's stopped by Wiseman. Wiseman. Good decision on the pick and roll there. Green as good as it gets, giving it up to his teammates as a big. Schroeder with the ball. And Curry picks him up defensively. Tatum's shot is off. Where you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's Wiggins. And Wiggins throws it down. And he just dangles <laughs> from the bucket after sending it through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Now here is Horford. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And good that time. Such a solid and unique big man in today's game. Horford's passing skills and ability to find the open teammate is very special. Schroeder against Curry. Thompson in the corner. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Thompson's got five points so far. Their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. And now, the first time I'll call here for Boston. Well, something, Greg, we can't take for granted. It's nice just to see Clay Thompson out on the floor. Yeah, no doubt, yeah, yeah man. You know, the NBA is just a better league with a healthy Clay Thompson. Makes this team more fun to watch. Good for humor and, and one incredible performance a year. Check in for Wiseman. Ayelita comes in for Tremont Green. Andre Iguodala. He's checked in for Wiggins. Rudy subbed in for Clay Thompson. And a new group in for the Celtics. Dennis Cannon's checked in for Horford. Williams comes in for Tatum. Josh Richardson's checked in for Marcus Smart. And it's Pritchard in for Dennis Schroeder. Now here's Curry. Following the miss by Josh Richardson. Out to the wing. Here's Moody. Target there that would have pushed the lead to double digits. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And finish off by Brown. And just awesome speed from Brown. Blasting off towards the bucket and slamming it down. Outside Curry. A rebound. Iguodala does so many things well and stays after it. A relentless
Memphis ever that time on the boards. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Warriors ahead of nine. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. scoreboard but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback and the Warriors guys what jumps out to you in this game uh, stats wise well they've been aggressive from the beginning particularly on the offensive end well if they wanted to start well this would be it they seized momentum right away and they just didn't let it go in that quarter on the court for the Celtics second quarter underway filling the perimeter slots are Richardson and Brown Ennis Cantor is out there with Williams, and it's Pritchard in at the one. Now the pass to Kerr. That one a little long. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. Thank you, Kevin. Clay Thompson has lost two prime years to a torn ACL and then a ruptured Achilles. He says so many athletes have been through this. It's just a new set of challenges. With my style of play, I feel I can be effective until my late 30s. I plan on being the all-NBA player I was and won't settle for anything less. Guys, that will be a great comfort to this team. Indeed, and who's going to doubt it? I love his attitude. Fun daunting. David, thank you. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Violates a pass it to Moody. Iguodala, and it's blocked by Brown, and he recovers it. The second chance effort. There's Rooney, and he goes strong with the one-handed kick. And then he's a guy you can rely on on both ends of the floor. Pass to Pritchard. Outside Williams. The Celtics working the ball around now. Brown the pass to Richardson. Back to Brown. Off target with his three. Warriors leading by nine. And it's something we've seen the last few years. Rocks and ones thrown at Curry. Although they've had mixed success. Now here's Brown. The 10 foot. Here's Cancer. Makes it off the glass. And it's not a secret. Cantor is a major factor on the offensive glass thanks to his size, strength, and excellent hand. And amazing to even consider using a box in one of the NBA. Isn't it great? But Curry does that with his offense to the teams that defend him. Kevin, I agree. And it did work well between the two finals. Curry is starting to adjust to that look. Much harder to use when Curry has had off the chips on offense. Now a timeout called by Boston. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go to get back on track. Is it you? Let me hear you.
Wiseman's checked in for Looney. Green comes in for Bayelitz. Andrew Wiggins is checked in for Andre Iguodala. It's Thompson in for Moody. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Al Horford's checked in for Ennis Kinch. Tatum comes in for Brown. Marcus Smart's checked in for Josh Richardson. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Pritchard. Jason that Jordan. one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Tatum. And competition is at the root of all sports. Certainly sometimes, you know, things get chippy. And as a player, Rick, how do you handle that aspect when emotions and physicality get going? Kevin, you, you're always taught to control your emotions. Easier said than done. The reality is you have to man up. You have to let it be known that you're not going to accept things. And at the same time, you got to be smart. So the goal is to beat the other team. Not literally. This feels like it snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Now here's Wiggins. Three from deep three-point land. And it's off from three-point range. Smart against Wiggins. Smart kicks to Tatum. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And four. Green with the block. Wow, pretty defense from Draymond showing how tough it is and great timing on the ejection. Eisner. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Great hustle defensively through the first half. Contesting everything and up the block shots. Well, the work on the offensive glass has been impressive as well. So many of their points have come on second, maybe even third chance opportunities. Free throw good from Wiseman. And you got to respect how quickly Wiseman has adapted to big league play. He hit the ground running and has not looked back. Always growing as a player. Now here is Horford. Over Green. That's good. And the Warrior lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Al Horford. I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, then you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. Curry passes to Wiggins. No good on the triple. Celtics trailed by 10. Schroeder outside. Outside Tatum. Five to shoot. Over Wiggins. Here's Williams. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Williams has got four points in the quarter. Here's Curry. Nine points in the game so far. 44 seconds left in the first half. A deep three from Thompson. And again, no good by Golden State. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. And the ability to score in many ways, when Tatum drives with force, get out of his way. And so it's Golden State with it, following the bucket by the Celtics. It's three outside, rebound by Williams. Williams has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. There's Tatum. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jump. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and they've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing for it. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. 
And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. James Wiseman's out there with Wiggins. That's the Warriors' five. Now here's Green, and stolen by Tatum. He kicks to Brown. It's Williams' high post. Schroeder against Curry, and it's Schroeder missing. And here's Curry, who brings it up for Golden State. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. And you think back to that 2017 draft, the scouts trying to poke holes in Tatum's game. But really, he just needed a little time to develop his skills and get stronger. Yes, that goes in. Smart's got his second basket of the game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Outside curve. Back to Thompson. And he sinks that one in the back of the room on the way in. Thompson's got seven. And without naming names, it feels like Tatum, you know, is starting to dominate other all-stars at his position. And, and now his game is so complete. Regularly over 40% from three. He can drive it, post you up. The only success defenders have is when they guess what he's doing. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. A fluid, talented score with with Tatum is hard to defend because of that versatility. Austin shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Two. And that one falls for Tatum. And you know, Jason Tatum is, is one of those guys who can really do it all. Uh, he's got a versatile skill set that makes him a constant threat on both ends of the floor. Looney's checked in for James Wiseman. Cantor, he checked in for the Celtics. Josh Richardson comes in for Marcus Smart. And so Tatum nails them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Curry on the wing. Here's the triple. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fifth assist in this one. I mean, there's just, there's no way. I mean, there's just a sliver of daylight, and there's three more. Now, here's Tatum. He has seven over Thompson. Tatum no good. Warriors leading by seven. It's one up, and it's good on the way. Thompson's got four this quarter. They're doing work in the second half. Three or four to start. Schroeder against Kerr. Brown right side. That's a very good look and converts. Six points for Jalen Brown. A heady play there from Schroeder zipping the pass to the teammate who had the cleanest look on the possession. Curry outside. It's hauled in by Richardson. Celtics trailed by seven. Schroeder dishes to Brown. Now the feed to Tatum. Goes up and lays it. Tatum. Tatum's got nine. An incredible leaper at 6'8". Tatum is difficult to stop down low. Thompson outside. Schroeder against Curry. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. Trills the three-pointer. Seven points in the game. Oh, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Here passes to Brown. Quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. A nice shot by Tatum. And there's a person starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Curry way outside. 
And he'll get another chance. Six to shoot. The rebound by the Celtics. Richardson outside. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 57 left to play in the third. And Greg at 6'5 and 200 pounds. Not the most imposing frame for Josh Richardson, but he is a quality defender. Well, a lot of it is between the ears. I mean, the plus we can help, but it's that competitive will that enables him to hold his own. That's good from Richardson. And Josh Richardson continuing to develop his overall game has such good height at the two-guard spot. And some changes here for the Warriors. Bialica, he's checked in for Green. Igudala comes in for Curry. Moody subbed in for Clay Thompson. And then for Boston. Horford comes in for Ennis Kanji. And it's Pritchard in for Dennis Schroeder. Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Pass to Bialitz. Goes up on the wing. Here's Iguodala. Good work defensively by Richardson. Celtics trailed by four. Here's Pitcher. A three-pointer off the mark. 132 left there in the third quarter. On the wing, Wiggins. Back to Iguodala. Fires the three. Good on the triple. Iguodala's got his second best in the night. And forever the score. I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three point line. Boston, no good that time either. Warriors leading by seven. This is the Wiggins. There's Looney, and he uses the glass on the lane. Really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half. Seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. The Jason shot's Tatum. good. The quick thinking of Tatum. You, you have to be impressed with how he readies himself to shoot before he gets the ball. Now, here's B. Elitza. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That's his first, That's his first foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was Checking just there a the little late. Heisman's checked in for Kevon Looney. Then for the Celtics, Williams is checked in for Jason Tatum. And Marcus Smart is subbed in for Josh Richardson. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Now here's Wiggins. He's got seven. Some sour defense from Brown. Celtics trailed by seven. Passes it to Pritchard. Offline with his three. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Warriors lead by seven. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter.
trailed by seven. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Peterick. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. On the floor for Boston. Outside, the wings are Smart and Brown. Williams is out there with Horford, and it's Pritchard in at the point. Kuminga with it, now guarded by Smart. Now, here's Kuminga. Defense right on him. The pass to Bialica. He dishes it to Iguodala. Kicks to Kaminga. Golden State moving it around. Iguodala no good. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. It's Brown with the drive. It is good. Jaylen. Brown's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Boston. And Brown is so aggressive, a masterful penetrator who abuses defenders on the drive. Here's Weitzman. Al Horford with the rebound. Celtics trailed by five. Here's Smart driving inside. And slam dunk by Smart. And the skills of Brown, not just a super athlete, but a tremendous floor general as well. Iguodala kicks to Kaminga. Inside, there's Wiggins, and Wiggins throws it in. Inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Yeah, they're going for the throat. You're smart. Takes the assist and loses it. Yeah. Picked out the pass nicely. And that's about the first defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game right now. It doesn't look to be Now a timeout called by Golden State. Clay Thompson comes in for Andre Iguodala. And Curry subbed in for Andrew Wiggins. And a shooter's checked in for the Celtics. It's a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey guys, I was able to catch the message to Kurt Andrews too. He was pushing him into the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys. Thank you, David. And here is Brown after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Got it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down now to just four points with the basket from Brown. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now here's Curry. Can't drop the tough three-pointer. Smart deciding where to go with it. Pass to Schroeder. Brown right side. The shot's good and the assist by Schroeder. Now just a one-point Warrior lead. Thompson outside. Curry with a wide open look. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. How about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Outside. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Brown's got 12 points here in the second half. Curry against Schroeder. Curry passes to Thompson. At basket number six to a statue. He's now six for ten. 
Clay Thompson, no stranger to these situations, always willing to fire in the big moments. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. from the field and a lot of those shots have come against some tight D that shows the level of his focus and consistency Wiggins is checked in for the Warriors fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by outside Horford there's Tatum that shot no good great D that time from Green 17-foot shot on the way. And the Warriors take the two. What work from Steph Curry gets open and makes it look easy. Wow. Feeds to Schroeder. Shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got five assists tonight. And that's why Schroeder is a player you want on your team because he knows how to come up with huge plays in big situations. It's Curry outside. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Well, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Mm -hmm. And with Brown, it doesn't matter what point in the game it's at. He's ready to shoot whenever and wherever he has the ball in a good spot. They double team for to Thompson. Pulls it up. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for Boston. Trailing by four. Wants to get it to Tatum and does. Over Thompson. And taking the bucket on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got assist number seven for him tonight. The Warriors have gotten into a pretty good groove going six of ten here in the final quarter. They double team Kirk. Golden State moving it around. Four on the shot clock. Off target from three-point range. The pass to Horford. On against Green to take the lead. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. They've held a 12-point lead early to the middle. Good that time. And the Celtics going the other way now. Points are an absolute must here. Can't come away empty. That would be the nail in the coffin. Schroeder dishes to Horford. Back to Schroeder. And here's Brown. Shoots over Curry. Missed! And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now. And here again, they're not going to pick the game. Now, you can't let them hold the ball. Mm -hmm. They just look those last seconds away. Time out. Call the Warriors. They're leading by two. One second left in the game.
Warriors pouring up the W. That was a fun night of basketball. Fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to see it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Stefan. How special is it to share your success with your family? That's what it's all about, man. I know you know when your kids get to enjoy uh, the game and the show, and uh, it's fun. So uh, I'm glad I did something good for them in the fourth quarter. <laughs> They'll remember all of it, I'm sure, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So for David Aldridge, Craig Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. So long and good night, everyone.